What's going on everyone? It's me Sunchi. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a video on how I have my screen set up for when I'm doing day trading or swing trading. So what you're looking at right now is pretty much what I have on one screen and then I do have a dual screen set up so on the other screen I'll have an identical layout but it'll be a different ticker such as the Dow Jones or the Nasdaq or something like that. So I'm going to give you a quick overview of what's on the screen. I'm going to reset the screen so you can see how I got to setting up the page the way that I did. So if you take a look here, we have a one minute chart of uh, Boeing since they've just been in the news recently. So as you can see here, I have a one minute chart and then down below it's a one year daily chart of the same ticker. And these two areas here are showing that they're linked. I'll show you how I, I got all this set up, but I'm just gonna do a quick overview of what's on the screen right now. So I do have the VWAP weighted average, weighted volume average price on here. So it's an indicator that I use quite regularly. As of recently, I started using the MACD, moving average convergence divergence, and then I also use the RSI. So I have volume on this lower chart as well. And then down here, similar setup and a few lines that I've drawn um, that I've included myself. So, and also over here, I have a time in sales and then I have the active trade over here down below. What I'll do is I'm gonna go ahead and reset the screen now and I'm gonna show you how I got to this exact setup. So I'm gonna reset workstation, go ahead, okay. It's gonna do its thing all right so I use thinkorswim and it's available through TD Ameritrade the reason I, I like this charting program is because it's free I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna kind of give you a brief overview because it could it looks like a lot of information when you log in it's a little bit of a sensory overload and that's exactly how I felt but once I cleaned it up and you know been using the, the software for a while it's given me some ideas on what's important and what I need to look at. So if you go over here to this left column, you're gonna see there's just a bunch of noise over here. So I just like to, to minimize that, but even better, you can just go ahead and click this little triangle here and you can just slide that whole panel to the left. So if, so if you need to get it back, you just click it again. If you wanna get rid of it, there you go. So if you come over to the right over here, similar situation where you can click this little triangle and it'll slide everything to the right so right off the bat it kind of cleans up the screen here and you're going to see there's a bunch of tabs up top here and you can go through there's help education tools etc different sections as you click through you can kind of look at it but what i like to do is actually like to you could just use the chart or you could do the trade the trade is already kind of almost set up already for you so I'll just go ahead and use this screen since it's already done a lot of the legwork. All right, so I wanted to show you guys this option up here. You can also select how many charts you want on one screen. I like to keep it simple. I like to stick with two charts, but I just wanna show you that option that's available. And that's how you change the number of charts you'll have in, on any given screen. So really quick, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and convert this top section to time and sales by clicking on this icon here on the right. And I'm going to remove the active trader up top. I'm going to slide the chart over to about 75% of the screen. And I'm going to do the same down here. And as you can see, there's a little bit of extra clutter here. I'm going to go ahead and remove that by clicking the configure buttons and I'm gonna go ahead and just remove all of these items. So you do that by selecting and you remove each item. So it's gonna clean up our screen a little bit. Since I'm not using this platform to trade, just using it to look at charts and tickers. This section here, you can also hide the position summary. It's gonna do a little pop-up warning, just click okay. And you can slide these columns over similar like you would in Excel so you just want to adjust these accordingly so that you could actually see the pertinent information 
So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to click in this section up top here to actually put in your ticker. So in this case, we're going to be looking at Boeing. So BA is their ticker. And as you notice, it didn't link down here. So I'm going to show you how to do that next. It's really simple. You click on this little icon, kind of looks like a chain link. So you can click that and you can highlight whichever color you want. Let's go with two. In order to link the bottom chart, you would also have to make it match. And let me go in here, update the information. So here's Boeing. And there it shows that it's linked with this chart down here. So up on the top chart, I always like to have a one day, a daily chart with showing one minute intervals. And then down below, I like to see the overview. So I do a yearly chart with daily intervals. I don't like having my screen coming where the the tickers are, or the chart action is actually coming to the edge of the screen here. So I'll show you how I ch update and change that. I hit this chart settings gearbox. And you go in here under time access and this area called expansion area. I'm going to change that to 25 and I'll show you what happens. It kind of pushes the chart to the left. So it keeps it off of the edge of the screen. I'll zoom back out. That kind of gives us that look that we're going for. I'm going to do the same with the bottom chart. I'm going to do 25. You can play with the numbers. I find that 25 works for me, but everybody's different. So now you can see it's starting to come together and look a little bit like the chart that I had previously, but let's keep going. The next thing I want to do is I actually want to start adding my studies. So you do that by clicking on this flask looking icon. And here is the entire list of different studies that you can add. Now I've learned that throughout my trading experience, there's been a few indicators that I use regularly and I rely on. So those are the ones that I'm going to add to this chart. The first is the VWAP, volume weighted average price. So I'm going to click add selected and I wanted to show you this section. So it, it shows up here. So the VWAP is going to show up on the price action. I'll hit apply and you see it's integrated into your chart here. Now I want to separate the volume, move it down. So I'm going to click on this gear setting here and instead of overlapping the volume I'm just gonna uncheck that it's gonna kick it to the chart just below and then inside of this sub chart if you will I want to actually add my other studies and the other one that I've been using as of recently is the moving average convergence divergence also known as the MACD I'm gonna add that there I'm gonna just move this actual study up into the volume section by utilizing these little up and down triangles. I'll hit apply and as you can see it shows up in this lower area. And the other study that I use is the relative strength indicator. I'm going to highlight that, add the selected. And I just wanted to show you if you want to move this indicator up to the top chart you just use these arrows and you have to follow along here and you just kind of push it up to the top. Now it should show up when I hit apply on the actual chart price chart section, but I don't like it up there. I actually like it down where my volume and VWAP or I'm sorry, my MACD is. So I'm going to go ahead and move it down below. I'll hit apply. As you can see, it showed up down here. So now I have my MACD and RSI showing on the subchart or, or lower volume section and then I have my VWAP up top and you could also change the color which I like to do it's up to you you can go in and edit and update it as you wish this is just kinda what I gotten used to doing and I like to make it a white color so I'll hit apply and you can see it changes it and actually I think I use this there we go so as you can see 
I have it set up. The other thing that I also don't like having is this left access. So I'll show you how to remove that. I click the gear icon again, and we're gonna go into price. And here's the option, it says left access enable. It's currently checked. We're gonna uncheck that box. It's gonna push everything off of the screen there. I'll hit okay. So this is the setup that I, I found that works best for me. So what I'm gonna wanna do is kind of duplicate that on the yearly chart. So we're gonna go back in. We're going to add a study. We're gonna do we're going to add the RSI and we're going to add the MACD, add that. And the VWAP isn't really going to work on the yearly chart, so I don't add that. And I'm going to move these two indicators to the volume section, hit apply, and then I'm going to have to move uh, do not overlap the volume and there you go and then one other thing this I, I want to get this chart pushed all the way to the left so I'll go ahead and click that I'll hit OK all right and so here you go so I have my RSI indicator I have my MACD and volume all on one chart and then I actually have the pricing and it's the similar setup except up here on the the one minute chart, it's going to show the VWAP. So there's one more piece to this tutorial that I wanted to show you guys in this video. If you go up to your settings tab here and you click that and you go into appearance, you'll notice that the screen kind of has like a little bit of gray or the background here space has a little bit of gray yeah, you can actually change that right here I like to just make it a, a black and you click apply and you notice like here's a difference it just makes it a little bit easier on the eyes that's that's how I feel anyways but I wanted to show you that so I'm going to apply that to the lower screen or the lower chart as well and I also wanted to show you the extended hours. Um, Thinkorswim has this option where you could actually view the extended hours. So I'm going to go into equities and it's uh, show extended hours trading session. And I'll turn that on. Click apply. And you see this little gray area that shows up. Well, that's basically the extended hours trading. So after the stock market closes, some stocks still trade overnight or during the extended hours early pre-market or extended hours in the afternoon and if you want to view that that's how you turn it on and off inside of this chart settings under equities and you uh, either enable or disable this option here so that was the last little bit I hope you guys like this video please feel free to comment ask questions and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks again. Bye.